How's it going guys? Nozzy here back with some more Kerbal Space Program. Welcome to my week of VSP. Um, yeah, because I haven't uploaded one of these in a while, um, I decided, hey, let's do a week of them. Because I am currently waiting for the um, fossils and archaeology mod patch for 1.6.2 to come out on skydaz if if anyone knows of of it coming out or anyone knows a link to it um please um e uh, message me on youtube with the link or put it in the comments below because um that's going to be my next series on minecraft including well obviously we're still going to be doing the um Skyblocks, which I'll probably do a week of next week because that hasn't been uploaded in a while. But anyway, so yeah, it's Monday the 2nd of August. And um, we're going to put a communications uh, satellite in orbit around the Earth. F and next episode, I've got it all planned, you see. This episode, communications around the Earth. Next episode, communications around the Moon. Um, episode after that, a moon, an moonar, lo yeah, moonar surface scanning orbiter you know the snet we put up last week well um, it's kind of going to be based on that design and it's going to be in a hko hmo if that's even a real thing <laughs> don't know um and it's just going to like look down at the terrain and then um tuesday that's wednesdays thursdays we're going to land a probe on the moon and uh fridays we're going to land kerbals on the moon uh so yeah it's all going to be good the mod pack I'm using mostly for this sat, sat will be the AIES mod. It can be found in the forums. I'm not sure if it's on the KSP port, Kerbal Space port. It might be. It could very well be, but um, I don't know of it being on there. I don't really need two flight engineer chips, but why the heck not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that. We need a communications device. Is this gonna? Whoa, this big. What you said? Come on, get in there, bugger. There we go. Oh, doesn't that just look awesome? Or does that just look awesome? Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Toggle. Extend and retract. Now, if what happened last time happens again, the last time I tried to record record this, um, I had the same problem I did last episode with the flipping snap bug. If anyone knows about that bug, can you please tell me what it is? I've experienced it quite a lot through recording, and it, I swear to God, if it happens again in an episode, I am going to be very, very annoyed. Uh, no, that's action groups, what I'm on about, we want control. I think we're going to do this, like an Atlas V inspired launch. Yeah, we'll do this Atlas V style. If I can build a decent replica of an Atlas V, then we should be good. I did have the Keythane mod installed, but it really mucked up my game. So, I, um, took it out, but, um, yeah, it's all good, so don't panic. Um, I know it's probably going to be quite far off, but I am looking very forward to the next KSP update. Hopefully we will have career mode. Bring on the career mod. I will do a series on that when it uh, does come out. I considered doing the mission controller one, but uh, uh, I did not do that. Because I suck at mods. Those sort of mods, anyway. So here is my Atlas fight. I need, I really need to, I might install the sub-assembly loader. Okie dokie. You'll come down there, is that even, oh god, that, that's just messed up. Maybe if I move this around a little bit. What? You can't go there, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Thank you. Here is my Atlas V style rocket. It's kind of like an Atlas V, right? No, no, see, shut up, no one cares. Um, don't like Atlas. 
Oh no, that's not right. Alright, five of them. It's a lot of decoupless people. Uh, we'll just call it comms for now. This this launch stage, I need to think of a launch stage name for this, but I can't think of one. So considering calling it the Null Z7, Null Z4. Uh, if any of you guys can think of a name, just uh, leave it down below in the comments. Save, and uh, yeah, let's go to launch. Oh, no, no, let's not go to launch actually. Let's bring this down, let's bring this down, let's bring this down, let's bring this down. See, the annoying thing is, the further down I bring it, the, the, the more lag I get. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you got all the kerbals and stuff, and it's more stuff for the game to render, but uh, I really don't have a clue. Shove these on there like that. You, sir, are in the wrong launch stage. God damn it. Get in the fight launch stage, you stupid idiot. You stupid idiot! There we go. Save and launch. <sighs> yeah, that was our last one. Because I did another attempt at this video and it was like, Help me please! Because um, they kept crashing and I was like, <laughs> and raged at it. Like the raging I do. Hashtag nausea rage. Bing, bing, bing. Talking of hashtags. Um, if you go, if you have Steam, which I'm sure most of my viewers probably do, in the description to all of my videos is a link to uh, my Steam group that I have. Um, go check it out. Oh, go to it. Uh, sorry about that, guys. It's very unprofessional of me. Just noticed that little bug there. Um, yeah, go go uh, join our Steam group for um heads up on new series and stuff series yeah go uh, and you can add me as a friend on steam through the steam group you'll find me so we will have liftoff of the comms satellite in t minus five four three two one ignition and we have liftoff of the nausea four well that's what we're going to call it for now until we have a name These SRBs make the rockets spin like a flipping. Um, what spins a lot? Um, yeah, what, what? What spins a lot? Uh, one of them spinny things spins a lot. No, I don't know. What spins a lot? Yeah. Mm -mm. I would have asked you to put it in the comments, but um, you already have to comment for something, so that would be stupid. The rocket is out of control, and it's almost at its apoapsis, but I can't do the gravitational turn yet. Holy crap, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, that's really bad. No, I missed him, my gravitational turn, because he's flipping stocking rocket boosters. Ah, no, that's too fast, that's too fast, that's too fast. We need to hurry up about this gravitational turn, actually. Perfect, look at that, I am just the best. Am I just the best, or am I just the best? No, sorry, you're the best. Oh, why, thank you, little imaginary voice. Um, I like you too. Come in, come in, come in, come in. I thought I had that game crash then. Holy crap, we're nearly in orbit. Fudge, 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 fudge. Didn't actually realise um, how fast we were going. Where's our uh, apo of the apsis? I'm not going to risk doing that um, time warping thing. So during this time, I shall. Um, well, we can get rid of the surface display actually now because uh, we are in orbit. Yes, we're in orbit. 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 A bit. A bit. A bit. A bit. A bit of orbit. Oh yes, we are. We're in a bit of orbit. Oh, yes, we are. We're in a bit of orbit. A bit of orbit. Time to apoapsis. Is that periapsis? Oh no, it's just a second. 
want some. I'm waiting till it's 30 seconds towards my apple axis. Because I don't want it uh, too much of an equatorial orbit. Well, obviously, an equatorial orbit. An equatorial. Uh, I'm not very good at getting circular orbits, so an equ equatorial orbit is inevitable. Let's burn. Let's get ourselves a peliapsis. A pelinus. An apoapsis nas. As long as that doesn't go over a million, we're all good. Come on, let's get ourselves into an orbit, people. Because we can. I'm just going to release the fairings now, actually. I mean, what was the point in that? Like, What was the actual point in doing that? I could have just released them when I released the rocket. I'm going to wait until that the periapsis gets to about 100,000 kilometers. At least we have a periapsis now. Yeah, we have a periapsis now, people. But uh, if we go to it, we will uh, crash and die horribly. Why does my camera keep... Why does it do that? Oh, god damn it, it's gone. <laughs> if I get this up to 100,000, then I'll be retrograde to bring that one down. So when my periapsis gets to 100,000, we will burn a bit of retrograde. Because we're going to... Actually, yeah, we're going to get a curb and escape at this rate. Yep, curb and escape. I know it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, we don't. But let's burn retrograde just. Get that. Let that get in a bit. No, because we could always burn prograde. D it doesn't matter about that one, because we could just burn prograde when we get to our apolapsis. So. Well, you know what? We'll leave it there. How long till I pass this? Oh god. We're gonna have to risk time warpation. Yep, that's my new word of the day, people. Time warpation. Yeah, we can still do that. We, sh we should probably uh, burn, burn prograde. I, I think that really might help us, you know. I think I think prograde will re really help us um, on this one, actually, yeah. Will uh, really help us. Shut up, Nazi. I don't want to go any more than 10 time warp, just. Um, look, look at that, 10 frames per second. Yes. Do, 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 do. Sorry about that guys, sorry about that interruption there. Um Right, uh let's skip the uh, time warp of the warpation. No 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 there we go. No, no, don't go over that. Yes, 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 there we go. Go back. And let's burn. Right, okay, we've got an incredibly, incredible equatorial orbit. Um, I'll do some... Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that. Just like, yeah. What an orbit, people. 834 to 356. Right, okay, what an orbit, people. What a flipping orbit. So let's get some... Whoa! I am sorry, but I love this mod pack. 
Well, not mod pack, what am I about? Shut up, Nelsie. No one cares. Why can't I turn... What? Let me turn fire engineer off. I don't need it anymore. We just uh, casually spin it round so that the uh, antennae, antennae is facing planet Kerbin. Look at... Would you just look... Would you just look at that, people? Would you look at that? What a flipping satellite. That is just a beauty. Thumbnail time. F1 for the win. F1 for the win. F1 for the win. Now we have to choose one of those. Right, I have another idea for this communications relay, actually. So let's go back to the space center. Oh, I nearly referred, re uh, referred to it, reverted it then, and that would have been disastrous, 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 disastrous. What? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a little orbit station, a little communication station on a suborbital, on a suborbital trajectory, which is going to go we fly on the suborbital trajectory to the bit of land you just saw wow, that the, the uh, communication satellite was actually over um it's going to go on a suborbital trajectory trajectory to there um which is going to be fun <laughs> and um i'm going to parachute it down and it's going to land there I could drop it off with the space plane, but I think this way will probably work a lot better. Uh, which was it we used? It was this one, wasn't it? This mother trucker. Do you want to just try to line that up? That'll do. Um, might want solar panels. I, I think that would really help. Lives. I think, yeah, I think solar panels might help us quite a bit, actually. Solipanos! Yes. Screw this. We're going to have them here. If we could put them here, maybe white as well. But these landing legs are too big. Right, okay. Actually, yeah, but that's just dodgy. We'll move them down to there. So then that will. Um, orbital radar station type thing. Wait, what's it? What's it? Wait, what's it? Antennae. Antennae, people. Now we got them. We don't need it. Um, this is a, we will call it radar alpha gonna be a radar slash thing don't need flight engineer why would we um we put a little separator on the bottom because i have oh 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 hello i nearly forgot me uh shootings of the para that would have been a bit uh 10 one wouldn't it wait what that means gay, what am I now? Shut up, Nolsey. Nobody cares. <coughs> um, this episode actually has gone on for uh, a little bit longer than I uh, originally wanted. But who gives? I've got all night to render this bad boy. <coughs> Bless me. People, Bless me. <coughs> Bless me again. God damn it. Actually, do we really need a fairing that big? God damn it! Um, we don't actually need a, that big of a fairing this time. So, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe we do. <sighs> God damn it! Let me click you. Not you. You, you stick on there. You, come off. Oh, I hate having to use the two point five meter fairing all the time. It's a pretty badass fairing, if you ask me, though. 
Where's the flipping thing? There it is. We all right. So our radar alpha is stuck inside this thing. Let's get our blah 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 blah. Uh, that was just weird. Um, right. We'll use the same launch stage as last time because it worked. Because we're only going on sub orbital, so we don't need all that crap. One of you. One of you. One of you. Oh, wait, wait, we haven't done any parts. Shut up. Shut up, nosy, no one no cares. Shut up, nosy, nobody cares. What is the truth? Um, yeah, guys, in the comments, please put an idea for a name because I don't know what to name this launch stage, and it will be mostly our common, our most common launch stage of staging and launching. I quite like it. I mean, I don't know if you guys do, but I definitely quite like this launch stage. Look, I mean, I mean, just look how how messed up this launch, this entire thing is. Just look how messed up it is, and and then you'll. There we go. That, that, I, I don't give a. I just don't crap. Don't. I don't crap. I well. Yeah. Never mind. <coughs> That's all good. Um. Just don't care if it's like a millimeter. I mean, in real life, it would probably mean the difference between life and death. But I just don't care. In this, KSP. The main idea is slap stuff together, like the Kerbals are doing down there. They're slapping the rocket, and, and just hope it works. That is. That is KSP. I'm I'm sorry, but that is KSP to me. And if you play KSP, well, I I obviously do take into account optical characteristics. I only install mods to make the game more realistic. Um, MC Dubs, if you're listening or watching, well, if you are, I'm surprised because you don't care about KSP. Well, that's what you tell me. But um, I'm happy if you're watching this. But MC Dubs, um, mods. I just want to explain this to all people, including MC Dubs, that think mods are cheating. In a sandbox game, there are no rules. You can do whatever you like. The world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want, obviously within the limitations that your game will let you. In this place, going to planets, going to doing awesome stuff. Basically, mods, how can you cheat in a game with no rules? How can you cheat in a game that has no rules whatsoever? There is no official rulebook. In career mode, yes, it may be cheating. I don't know, because I don't know the aspect of career mode yet. But in a sandbox game, how can you call mods cheating? Okay? Okay, it's kind of like Creative World on flipping Minecraft. It's not cheating, otherwise Squad wouldn't allow it. Rant over. And I can't even be bothered to do the flipping countdown. Oh, and it's bloody spinning again. <sighs> Calm down, Lossie. I'm hyperventilating now. So yes, you have it. Mods are not cheating in a sandbox game. Thank you for watching and carry on watching now because we're not done yet. Whew. Um Hold on, someone's texting me. Oh no, wrong one, wrong one. Hold on. Um Okay, we're spinning drastically out of control. I'm scared now, and so should this radar station be. But who gives a damn? <coughs> Not me. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is just not cool. Right, let's do some uh, turning of gravity. Because we, we like turning gravity, don't we? What is our APA Ooh, of the Apsis thing? Uh, we need to get to this bit of land here, where Jebediah actually landed at uh, our permadeath. He was the first ever Kerbal to, um... Orbit the Earth. He was the, uh, Yuri Gagarin of, um, Kerbals. But, um, yeah. 
It's kind of going to be in the same place. Uh, when that stops, we know we're out of fuel. Come in. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. We are. I just want to bring it there. Okay, we're done, people. Consider it done. Detach. 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 And that should all be flying away nicely. I, I said that should all be flying away nicely. I, I said... Just, just spin. Oh! You can't handle that skill. Dem skills just... Oh, actually, we're not going to uh, retract those just yet. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, that was the beast. Flip here now. Uh, let's go retro. Retrograde. <laughs> Flying through space. Ace. <laughs> we are flying through space. 2,000, 1,000, no, we're 2,050 meters per second because we're all. Cause we roll like das, yeah, so good, yeah. Ich liebe Deutsch. I like German for those who don't know. Right, how long do I apply this? Guys, I'm gonna do a cutscene here. I will be back in a sec. And guess what? Yeah, don't worry, it's not the bug. The bug is all fine. We missed our land. It, I didn't take into account the orbit of Kerbin and all that crap. We're falling far too fast for my liking. Bet you the parachutes rip this thing apart. We're on the surface now, which is good. It's spinning like crazy for no random re for no reason at all whatsoever. The parachutes are deployed, but we're falling too fast, and I don't like it because I can't turn from progress. Can I turn the SAS off? Yes. The G-forces are over nine thousand. And then it's spin to that point. No, 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 no. If this fails, if this fails. Come in! Come in! I know. Don't panic. Don't panic. I got this. Extend panels. What? Balls. Is, is the word I'm looking for. Yay, let's extend our legs for no reason. Even though we're going to crash and burn horribly. Yay. Yay, the ground's coming too close for my liking. Yay, parachutes flipping deploy or I'll slap you. Thank you. No, oh, yes, 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 yes. Y yes. Problem is, our flipping, flipping, flippings are broken. Flipping out. Flip. For flip's sake, this is just. Um. How I'm going to deal with this, I have no idea. Um. But it worked at least, right? The concept worked. I might have to revert the flight to space plane hangar and change it through things, but, uh, yeah. I might change the solar panels to a different solar panel, but. Station Alpha is uh, hopefully going to come down to a very successful landing. Hey man! Hopefully was the uh, main word that... Falling at 4.5 meters per second. At this speed we can land on the flipping moon. We'll have to put one of these on the moon actually. That'd be fun. I mean, I don't know how, but it would be fun. I mean, if I actually got it to work. But it would be fun. Fun indeed it would be. Oh, sit down. Look at that. That right is just pure skill. Come on, land safely or I'll slap you. Oh, wow, it's gone wrong at the last minute. Flipping brilliant. Absolutely flipping fantastic. Yeah, well, screw it. We can land. We can land. Pull up. Pull up, you stupid bugger! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you're good. Faggot. Yeah, th yeah. Look, look how good we are. We have got a flipping lopsided flipping. Flipping. Yeah, let's put our legs out for no reason because because we suck. Yeah, Station Alpha. Hello, Mountain. You're more upright than this bloody thing. Ah, uh, yeah, Rage. This, yeah, brilliant. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure to make this. I will redo this. I'm going to go and rebuild it now. Um, but <clears throat> I will see you guys in the next episode. Well, which will be tomorrow. What time it will be up, I don't know. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's episode will probably be up later in the night. Probably about, should be, I'll probably be uploaded at about 4 o'clock-ish. Um, due to the fact I'm back at school, my summer holiday's over now. But yes, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in a minute. I'll see you tomorrow. As always, goodbye.